example 3. Reservoir A, B, and C are connected by pipes 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, and 3 respectively, meeting at junction J. The water surface elevations at reservoirs A, B, and C are respectively 300 meters to 90 meters and 280 meters. The junction is at elevation 286 meters. If the pressure at junction J is 90 kilopascals, determine the flow rate in each of the pipes leading to the reservoirs and the diameter of pipe 3. Shown below are the properties of pipes used. So this is the figure. So to solve this problem first given the elevation at junction J and the pressure there, then we can locate the piezometric level. Knowing the elevation of the piezometric level, then we can compute the head losses in each of the pipes, pipe frictional losses, then from there we can compute the discharges using the formula HF equals 0 0.0826 FL Q square over diameter to the PIF. So first let's locate the elevation of the piezometric level at junction J and it is equal to 286 plus pressure head which is 90 over 9.81. So 286 plus 90 over 9.1 is 295.17. So locating that, then we can now draw the uh, energy grade line. So that's at elevation 295.17. Then the flow direction would be because P is below A, only reservoir A will supply then Reservoirs B and C receives water, receive water. So that's the flow direction. Then the difference in elevation between water surface at A and at P is 4.83. 4.83 is 300 minus 295.17. That's the head loss in pipe 1. The head loss in pipe 2 is 295.17 minus 290. That is 5.17. Then finally, the head loss in pipe 3 is 295.17 minus 280 is 15.17. So as shown in the figure. So we can now compute Q1, HF1. So formula first, HF.0826 by Darcy Weisbach. FLQ square over diameter to the fifth. So HF1 4.83 equals 0 0.0826, friction factor 0 0.018, length for 50, Q1 square over diameter 0.3 to the fifth. So Q sub 1 is 0 0.22 for cubic meter per second and it is outlaw from reservoir A. Then HF2. 5.17 equals 0 0.0826, friction factor 0 0.021, length 600, Q2 square over diameter 0 0.2 to the pith. So Q2 is inflow to B, 0 0.03987 cubic meter per second. Then finally for Q3, from the figure Q1 equals Q2 plus Q3. So 0 0.1324 equals 0 0.03987 plus Q3. Q sub 3 is 0 0.09253 cubic meter per second. It is also inflow to reservoir C. Then, knowing Q3, we can now compute this unknown diameter of pipe 3 using the same formula HF3 15.17 equals 0 0.0826 friction factor 0 0.025 length 400 0 0.09253 square over diameter of pipe 3 to the pith. Diameter of pipe 3, therefore, is 0 0.2156 meter or 215.6 mm. So, that's it for this problem.